Los Angeles is the second largest city in the US with nearly 4 million residents. For most tourists, just think of it as Hollywood. But what they don't realize is that Hollywood is just one small neighborhood. And it's actually really sketchy. Yeah, among many distinct neighborhoods that make up LA. But does LA live up to the hype? Welcome to Hollywood! Hey, I'm Andrea Fetchko. I'm Rachel Rudwall. And here's the short list for sightseeing in LA, which is actually quite short, like all the actors. <laughs> you can do the Hollywood thing, walk of fame, or get your stop on with the celebrity home tour. Charge for that, you have to take a tour. <laughs> you can go to the beach, Santa Monica Pier, or the Venice Boardwalk, where God put all the people he didn't know what to do with. <laughs> or the Getty Museum, where God put all the works of art he didn't know what to do with. It's a good thing, because it's beautiful. My personal favorite is to go hiking. Temescal Canyon and Runyon Canyon are amazing places to get out, get active, and get killer views. I like to get great views of the city with some wine. That's why I love to go to Malibu Wines. It's winery, great food, because there's none anywhere near it. Speaking of food, a lot of actresses don't eat, which leaves more food for us. <laughs> food trucks are everywhere and serve every kind of food imaginable. There's also fresh produce, $5 fruit on the side of the road, or a farmer's market every day of the week. Can't talk about LA without In-N-Out, best fast food, but make sure you order the secret menu. Animal style. <laughs> Oh my god. LA takes its burgers seriously, so if I'm gonna go get one, I actually go go to In N Out. <gasps> I prefer Father's Office. It's got great meat, toppings, and bun, but don't even think about asking for substitutions, you get it as is. No substitutions? Oh my god. What are LA people gonna do? Are you vegan? <gasps> There's also a lot of upscale restaurants. My favorite is Dantana's. It has the best rack of lamb, it's $62 worth every single penny. If you get somebody to take you on a date. Rachel, it was my birthday. <laughs> and it was a great date. He sounds like it. He should be my date for my next birthday. Not only are hotels places to stay in LA, but they're also places to be seen. So if you want to be seen, go to the Roosevelt, SLS, or Standard Hotel. If you want to do the opposite of be seen and just hang out by the water, you can stay at Casa del Mar in Santa Monica or Hermosa Beach Beach House. And where you stay is really important because LA is so spread out your location really dictates what you have time and access to do. Shopping! My favorite place to shop is on Abikini Boulevard in Venice Beach. It's an actual neighborhood, so tons of cool shops and cafes and lots of celebrities in their yoga pants. Ugh, don't talk dirty to me. <laughs> I love the Grove. It's trying so hard to be like the Bellagio in Las Vegas, and I love it for it. Okay, that's LA in a nutshell, so what do you say? Go or no? It is a great place to live. I mean, come on. Blue skies every single day, but I don't think it's a good place to visit. LA is really spread out, so it's really hard to find out what to do and to feel like you're actually experiencing the city when you're in the car all the time. She's got a point, but I say go. Just plan your trip wisely, choose a location that you like, rent a car, and avoid the, the 405. 405. <laughs> so what do you guys think of La La Land? Is it high maintenance like Beverly Hills? Or is it cool like the Surfer Boys? And let us know in the comments below what city we should review next. Thank you. I'm gonna lounge by the pool for a while and have Ramama special cocktails. <laughs>